In Ukraine, we are sent under machine guns and drones during the day, like meat, Russian soldier. Anton Andreev, a Russian occupier from the 5th Company of the 1009th Regiment, spoke about the real losses of the Russian army during the offensive in the north of the Kharkiv region. The Guardian media outlet reported this. It is noted that the Ukrainian army managed to completely defeat the unit of the Russian military in Vovchansk, which indicates an effective defense. According to Andreev, his unit was completely defeated by the Ukrainian army in Vovchansk. Since the Russian troops approached Kharkiv on May the 9th and opened a new front, only 12 of the 100 soldiers remained alive. They just cut us to pieces. We are sent under machine guns, under drones during the day, like meat. And the commanders just shout, forward, forward, he said. The soldier said that as soon as his company arrived at the front, half of the company died immediately on the first night's train. Currently, Russian state media and government officials continue to claim that their troops continue to advance in the direction of Kharkiv. Even the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin himself, claims that Russian losses are of course several times smaller than on the Ukrainian side. But the Kremlin has to make a lot of efforts to hide from the public information similar to what Andreev cites. At the same time, dozens of posts began to appear on social networks in which Russians are looking for their relatives who went missing during the offensive on Kharkiv. As noted in the publication, some of these relatives also talk about the too short training of the troops before the start of the offensive. Some claim that the training lasted only a week. According to Vitaly Litvin, an officer of the intelligence unit of the Rubis Brigade of Ukrainian Army, the Ukrainian military pushed back the occupation army of the Russian Federation from Liptsy in the Kharkiv region. We are now improving the tactical situation there. Together with the 13th Brigade of the Offensive Guard, charter assault operations are conducted. We have pushed the enemy back a little from the settlement of Lipsy. The situation is stable, controlled, but difficult because the enemy is constantly carrying out airstrikes with guided air bombs on the positions of the defense forces, deep in the logistics routes. Litvin notes. The commander of the special unit of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Group 13, with the call sign, 13th, confirmed in an interview that one of the new modifications of the Magura unmanned sea platform already has the P-73 missile on board. 73 is a Soviet-made air-to-air missile with an infrared homing system. The Magura sea attack drones equipped with such missiles have already been used during combat operations on the Black Sea and this has become a serious factor of fear and risk for Russian aviation. So that the development is effective, Russians are afraid of it. If they see them, they will be afraid to even fly. And the uniqueness is that no one has such a thing. This weapon has already been installed, and it will give its results, said 13th. The Magura V5 was developed by a Ukrainian private company called Special Techno Export. Relatively little is known about the company, which keeps a low public profile for security reasons. At the same time, Ukraine's Directorate of Military Intelligence had also been exploring the possible use of marine and airborne drones and created a separate department for the use of such unmanned systems, named Group 13. The head of the division, known by his call sign, Boritz, said the department had been working on seaborne drones since the summer of 2022.